be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, Keep Pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, Greg Gato, also known as the big cat, my cool cat. Put your balls up. If you're rocking with the big cat today, we're going to talk about Teddy Bridgewater, PJ Walker, quarterback controversy. Hmm. We'll talk about the front from this solid. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes. No, maybe. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes, no, maybe. If you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers, put five on it. You already know I'm on team five. <laughs> uh, let me stop, man. I'm on team everybody with the Panthers, all right? PJ Walker, Teddy Bridgewater, what should we do, man? Let's get into it. And here we go. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss the video. Be sure to check out fanfanetwork.com, also FTFN on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. 32 fan ambassadors giving up the real from a fan perspective. Be sure to check out keeppoundingtvshow.com, my website, read you some articles, and also uh, check out some merchandise. Now, with that being said, we will be going live Wednesday night, 9.30, talk about the Panthers, uh, Minnesota Vikings opponents, and also uh, PJ Walker and Teddy Bridgewater. What, what should we do? With that being said, y'all, Look, you know, PJ's my guy. Beautiful story. Um, not PJ, excuse me. Teddy's my guy, but PJ Walker, I respect him. I respect him from um, from what he did. You know what I mean? Coming off the bench cold like that. You know what I mean? Not knowing you're going to be the fucking starter until about 30 minutes for game time. I mean, this is the NFL. I don't care what that opponent record was. I don't care that the quarterback had a sprained thumb. I don't care about the defense wasn't that good. I don't care about none of that. Okay? It's an NFL team. Those guys make millions, and those guys are top athletes. So they, they, they probably can outlift me, and they can outrun you. So that, let's, let's cut the BS about, well, we didn't play nobody. This is still the National Football League. All right? With that being said, um, it's just one game, y'all. And I, and I hate to do this. I don't want to shit on nobody. Again, no disrespect. The guy was fantastic. I think he did what he had to do. It's one game. One game. And I mean, if you go back and look in the NFL history, there's a lot of people that look fucking fantastic in one game. All right? So, with that being said, I I, I, I got to say this. I think his upside to him is, is, is tremendous. I definitely can see... Um, a bright future for him. I think he has the athletic ability. Um, I think he's gifted, you know what I mean, with, with a big arm. I, my only thing is he has to get more, uh, I guess, get in the playbook more, you know what I mean? I think this fall, or excuse me, this off season, hopefully this COVID shit can be gone, but hopefully we can get it together to where he can be mentored by Teddy Bridgewater. See what Teddy does to focus. See what Teddy does as far as looking off defenses and stuff like that. If he can make that process, if he can make leaps and bounds in that mental process, he has the tools, y'all. He has the tools. A lot of you guys forget that two of our, our starting offensive of linemen were out yesterday. So, and another one got hurt. So, Dennis Daly. So, I mean, it was phenomenal what he did. But let, let's cut the bullshit, y'all. Teddy Bridgewater is our quarterback. He's our leader. And I still got five on it. I think he's still, uh, uh, um, you know, I still think he's our franchise quarterback for right now. You know what I mean? Um, with that being said, man, if Teddy is truly, fully, like, not fully healthy, sit him down. Okay? It's not about being prideful. It's not about trying to show out, not trying to, you know what I mean? It's not about nothing like that. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my job to P.J. Walker. It's about his safety and his health. If he's not healthy, sit him down, coaching staff, please. And do it probably around Wednesday, okay? Like I said in my other video, you cannot rob PJ of mental reps in the classroom because he just now finds out he's going to be the starting quarterback 30 minutes before game time. Cut that shit out. If you're going to make him the starter, make him know Wednesday so he can, when he's off, when he's uh, when he leaves practice, he can look at tape a uh, 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 Wednesday night. Thursday night, he can look at it. Uh, Friday, he can look at it. Saturday, he can look at it. He can make his mental notes. He can make, okay, if, that, if, I, if I get this look, if I, if, I, if I get that look, I can tell. Let him have the proper preparation. Don't let him know 30 minutes till, and he just knows a vague look of the defense. You see what I'm saying? So, 
um, all in all, man, uh, it, it just comes down to the matter of fact if if Teddy's healthy to me. If he's healthy, then he stays in. If he's not, then he needs to be sit down. You know what I mean? But as uh, far as trying to annoy him as the next, <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of like a lot of disrespect for Teddy. Okay, I get it. Teddy's not he's not Superman. I mean, he's not gonna do a bunch of spectacular shit. You know what I mean? He doesn't have the athleticism in P.J. Walker. You know what I mean? He doesn't have the arm strength of P.J. Walker. Um, but one thing I do like about Teddy is he can be safe with the ball at times. As long as, long as he is protected, as long as he has time, he's going to do right by you, all right? Now, it, it, he has struggled at times, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of things to do with chemistry, you know what I mean? As far as just off-season and COVID, there's a lot of stuff that it's really out of his hands that that's the reason why teddy has struggled you know what i mean um a lot of you guys reference his poor clock management uh holding the ball too long dj Moore chemistry a lot of that shit just like i said man just come with reps and and, and it was something we haven't had for uh, a whole year you know what i mean i mean we had it during the during the regular season you know practice regular season practices but far as off season and training camp stuff like that that's where you build congruent Con continuity and stuff, but we haven't had this. So, look, man, there's nothing wrong with celebrating PJ Walker's victory. There's nothing wrong with being saying that he's a proud backup. We found our backup fine, but a lot of you guys are going too far. I'm seeing posters. My man played one game. Y'all saying he's undefeated in the XFL, undefeated in high school, undefeated in the NFL. He played one game. <laughs> okay, respect. Like, we're like, like, love him, embrace him, give him his followers. I love his story. I love the story about his mom. And, uh, you know what I mean? I think he has a bright future, but let's not be disrespectful to who, who our signal call is before him. You know what I mean? So until they come out and, out of their mouth and say, we're going with such and such for the future, then we all can get behind P.J. Walker. But let's not turn our backs on him just because, you know, my man came out here and killed the Detroit Lions. You know what I mean? And even though, like I said before, it doesn't matter that they – beat the Detroit Lions because they're one of the poorest team in the league. If I'm not mistaken, 29th in uh, uh, rushing, 28th in passing passing defense, and 30th in scoring defense. You know what I mean? Even though I said that doesn't matter, <laughs> you still got to take that in consideration, okay? So let, let's be respectful here. I just think all in all, I think the team was charged by P.J. I cannot take that away from him. I felt like the, the team was charged. I think I felt like D.J. was charged. Curtis was charged. And again, his ability to extend and plays with his legs and his ability to have a big arm. This kid has a bright future. It makes him that much of a threat. You know what I mean? And that's, that's taking consideration. Nobody had tape on him either, okay? Nobody had tape on P.J. Walker. So some of the things he was able to do because they don't know what to expect from you. You know what I mean? Nobody has preseason tape. So you got to ask yourself, if they had tape on him, you know what I mean? Yeah, how would this turn out? So... Honestly, man, all in all, Teddy's our guy, and this guy has a bright future. Only issue I have with PJ, let's get in there and get some more mental reps in the classroom. I think he'll be fine. You tell me, guys. I'm your host, Grand Guy. To also know the big cat, my cool cat, but balls up if you're rocking with the big cat. Tell me how you feel, man. Is Teddy our guy? You know what I mean? Right now. We're not talking about the future. We're talking about right now. Is he our guy right now? Or is it time to shut him down? Again, I said if, if he's injured, shut him down if he's injured. If he's healthy, let's put him out there. My honest opinion is I think he's going to start against Minnesota this week. Expect for it to be a sort of a uh, home a homecoming of sorts. Be really emotional and shit. But here's the big question I got to ask you guys. If Teddy goes out there and stinks up the shit, you know what I mean? Is there a controversy? I mean, what do you do? How, how long do you allow? Let's say we get down. I mean, how his and you know what? I, let me let me stop because even when we lost like even though we lost the amount of games, we lost seven games. One of those games has been a blowout. Only one of those games was a blowout, and that was last week. So, Teddy hasn't even put us in a position to where we've been down fucking 30, uh, 23 points. Except last week, he, <laughs> he only did that shit one time. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, man. You tell me, guys. I'm your host, Grande Guy. To also know the big camera, cool guy, put your paws up. Make sure you subscribe to, to the podcast, Anchor and Spotify. We'll catch you tonight, 930, man. I'm up out of here. I got five on you. I'd like to take the time out to thank Keep Pounding TV membership sponsors below. It is because of supporters like you that we're able to create quality content. 
please consider joining the Keep Pounding TV membership by clicking the join button right above the channel header. With three different tiers and packages, we have a little something for everybody and affordability. Make sure you join. Pause up. Be sure to check out KeepPoundingTVShow.com where we have the latest Panthers article, exclusive behind the scenes content, vlogs, videos, schedule, fantasy football, and much more. Also, be sure to check out Keep Pounding TV's official merchandise, where we have Paul's Up hats, Gato shirts, and much more as well. I want to give a very special shout out and thanks to all the Keep Pounding TV cool cats and members. Paul's Up, Keep Pounding. Ladies, be sure to check out Tori Bell Cosmetics. Shop with Ambassador Affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss, the eyelash bling. They got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Fellas, do you have a beard like Big Cat? You tired of your shit looking like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Trishana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. Trishana Jones Oils Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Live Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi, I'm the Big Cat. Pause up. You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.